ha ha. <laughs> Hello, my people. How are you? It's me, the tree. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm going to start out by telling you that July 21st is the Mary Magdalene ritual at Bohemian Grove. July 22nd is the ritual Feast of Jesus. And July 23rd is when Ceres right, lines up with the moon, the pyramids, and the earth. These are the three main ritual days at Bohemian Grove. July 21st, 22nd, 23rd, although it is a two-week retreat. Um, about 2,000 global elites gather there every year, and they are all Sang Aryan, reptilian, they're fourth dimensional beings that hijack and inhabit human bodies. They are the Illuminati. The Queen Elizabeth is the leader of the Illuminati. Um, <clears throat> these people are hurting, torturing, murdering, sacrificing people daily, regularly, all the time, and getting away from it. The police that we have, you know, in the world are there to protect them from us, not us from them. <laughs> okay, so they run all the police, the government, the military, um, all over all the corporations, all the nuclear stuff. They do all that. Um, they're Sangarians. The Sangarians make up 3% of the Earth's population. Okay, and they are the Illuminati and they're reptilian. Queen Elizabeth is the leader of the Illuminati. <clears throat> so now, I'm going into Bohemian Grove July 21st at 7.21 a.m. and I'm going in and I'm going to stop these ritual sacrifices from happening. They have people in cages. They have t they torture them. They cut their penises off. They cut their tongues out. They cut their eyes out. Have sex to them while they're bleeding them out and drain it. You know, cut a little boy's penis off and then bleed them out, you know, and suck it out. You know, it's horrible. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. Queen Elizabeth is the leader of the Illuminati. She is the queen of hell. She's so fired. Um, this will be the fourth time I've landed there, but this year I'm going in. Pendar, okay, the reptilian that I talked to through my Master Mason, I talked with him yesterday through my Master Mason. I will also be talking with him tomorrow. And I've got, he gave me details, secret instructions on how to get into the Bohemian Grove, how to get in. He told me how to get in, you know, without going through the front gate, <clears throat> how to sneak in. Um, I'm going in because I'm going to the, put an end to this. I don't. I know it sounds crazy and insane. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I just know I have to. Princess Diana's son, when she was pregnant, when she was murdered, okay, he was taken out of her womb. She was two months pregnant. And the reptilians, the dragons, you know, they can easily, easily take a baby out of the womb from two, three months old and grow it up and incubate it and turn it into a baby. You know, they can take it out and they do that. And they did that with Diana's son. He's now 12. He is the son of perdition that Michael Noel Prescott and Supreme David Rockefeller have. And um, uh, because they kept saying, my son, my son, my son. You know, and I was like, well, you know, but it turns out my son, his dad, and his dad's new wife and family, they changed my son's name and moved away to protect him. Thank God for that. I just found out last week that Demetrius was all right. Thank God for that. But the my son, my son, my son, they kept talking about was, well, I guess he is my son. He's going to be my son when I get him out. <clears throat> I named him Seth. He's 12 years old. He's been fed nothing but flesh and blood since he's been born. He's been, he does not know the outside world. He is trapped in this prism with the queen and all the horrible things, molesting, raping him, um, torturing him, making him eat human flesh and blood, making him do human sacrifices and murders. And he, since he's been a baby, uh, and um, Troy Regis, okay, he, when the Hells Angels got the other death head, the other wing, that's when they joined under the Illuminati. They became a secret society in the Illuminati. And like I said, the Queen Elizabeth is the leader of the Illuminati. <clears throat> and she is evil. She is the Queen of Hell, literally. She is a bitch. And she is so fired. <clears throat> okay, and so the baby at the clubhouse, or the baby that Troy has around is not his baby. It's not his baby. It's a kidnapped baby. Troy gave his baby before it was even born. He struck a bargain with the Queen for that baby to be sacrificed um, in exchange for a, 
a seat at the top of the pyramid, the Illuminati pyramid. Because, okay, there was Pendar, okay, and he was the, the one in charge of the Illuminati and over Queen Elizabeth and the Twelve Judges, you know, the tip of the pyramid, the very tip of the pyramid is called the Imperial Order of the Dragon. It's the part that's cloaked, that's illuminated with the rays coming out of it, you know, like on the dollar bill. Each one of those little squares on that pyramid represent varying secret societies under the Illuminati, like the Freemasons, the Shriners, the Elks, the uh, Hells Angels now. And so the Hells Angels became, uh, when they joined under the Illuminati, became international human trafficking, child pornography, snuff film, kidnapping ring. And so they are globally, and getting away with it, supplying the victims and the food for the dragons, <laughs> for these sacrifices and stuff, and plus all the money they make off the child pornography and stuff, so many missing children. And the thing about the reptilians is that they, um, the thing about the reptilians is that they like children, they use sex in all their rituals, extremely perverted sex, they're pedophiles, all of them, they have sex with little children, um, babies, horrible, just horrible things. Um, so, I'm going to talk to Pendar again tomorrow and I'm going to find out more about what's going on with Troy's baby, Troy's son, who is seven months old, who he struck a deal with the Queen for that baby in order to get at the top of the Illuminati Pyramid. Okay, so there was Queen Elizabeth and then the Twelve Judges, the Twelve Reptilian Judges, and they're in the Bible too, I think. Um, anyhow, so she gave Troy the seat under her above the dragons <laughs> in the dragon's den. You know, I mean, how dumb is that? <laughs> you know, I mean, because he's going to be di uh, dragon dinner. <laughs> You know, like 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 the dragons, the reptilians are all just going to sit there. The you see, at the top of the pyramid, it's the most evil. The most evil people in the world are at the top. Watch my soul story, Troy Regis, and you'll get an idea of where I'm trying to show Troy and how he's going bad, went bad, and I'm trying to get him back, trying to wake him up. He's under severe mind control. He's been a victim of MK Ultra and severe abuse, torture, abuse since he's sexual abuse since he's been a baby. Um, He's been locked in cages um, by his mother with the dead mommies, the women they would sacrifice. They would take the women, kidnap them, and put them in the cages with her for a f few days or a week or whatever so they could bond. That's your mommy now because he wouldn't participate in the child pornography anymore. If he couldn't make his mommy lots and lots of money, then she didn't love him anymore. And so he was in the cages, and then after they would, he would have to, well, I have to watch the sacrifice of the woman, and then be put in the cage with the dead mommy because she'd go, you're not my son, you're not my son, I'm not your mommy, this is your mommy, let your mommy feed you. And so sometimes he would even have to eat off the dead body rotting in the cage with him and he'd sit there for weeks at a time.